Hi everyone, this is Balash from Racing Brick. Today we have another surprise video for you. A Polish retailer has, probably accidentally, unveiled the next LEGO idea set, namely the 21345 Polaroid One Step SX70 camera. We have a bunch of high resolution photos, so I will use them to browse through the features and quickly compare it to the original submission. Let's get started. We know that the set is scheduled to launch on the 1st of January and has 516 pieces. The price is not yet confirmed, but according to retailers it should be 80 euros or dollars. Here is the original idea submission from Mini Brick Productions and I have to say that the final product hasn't changed that much. By the way, the submission has 538 pieces and just like the end result, it was a near scale replica of the real camera. However, there are a few differences that we can quickly notice. For example, in the original the photos were in a large style, in the set it seems to be some kind of thick paper or plastic, it's hard to tell. Originally there was a knob on the side of the device that could be used to slide the photo out. The final product has a mechanism more similar to the real camera, according to the back of the box the shutter button pushes the photo out. I'm not sure how much you know about Polaroid cameras, I personally have never used one, but in short, these are instant cameras, meaning there is a self-developing film in a cartridge and you get the result shortly after you take the photo. Polaroid had several models, the One Step SX70 was probably the cheapest and simplest of them. It has a fixed focus, you can really just press the shutter button and wait for the end result. Ok, here on this side there is a dial for exposure compensation, you can see that in LEGO form and the viewfinder that you can look through. I hope this will work on the brick built version as well. As far as I know, the one step branding was used in the US, elsewhere it was called Polaroid 1000, so we have two different tiles in the set. In the LEGO version, the cartridge is used as a holder for the photos, we have here the inventor of the commercially viable instant cameras, Edwin Ageland, that's the LEGO house and the third one is the fan designer's sister, according to the product description. The opening mechanism seems to be operated with this button on the side and is similar to the real camera, but instead of the whole cartridge, only one photo fits in here and that is ejected by pressing the shutter button. And what could be complained about? I missed the white ring on the lens that was on the original submission, I think that's also part of the camera's identity, just like the rainbow stripe that was properly recreated with bricks. The set also seems to use a mix of stickers and prints. The Polaroid land camera and the One Step and 1000 labels are stickers, but the text on the film appears to be printed. All in all, I really like the end result. It looks great, has some interesting functionality, and the price is similar to a real vintage Polaroid camera you can buy on eBay. So folks, please let me know what you think of the set, whether you like it or not, is this something you would consider buying? Let's talk about it in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video then please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe with notifications as there will be more exciting LEGO videos coming soon. See you next time, bye bye.